Welcome back YouTubers to my channel of an everyday encounter and a typical life of an ASB or shall we say reverse it back to the Beauty From Ashes channel. As you're fully aware right now, I was basically talking about like the Know Your Worth series sort of thing and I'm trying to break it down. Hopefully it's just two, three parts even though there was a part of the intro. The last piece of it, well, however, was just a little blue basically sh sharing on my heart to, to be the voice of all women of how they may feel, you know, when they're down and out basically and hopefully that if any males were listening to some parts of this that they can take into consideration and vice versa that the women can hopefully take into consideration just in case the guys may feel the very same way as us girls. I was just sharing some of the examples and experiences of my life of my you know past life of my dating experiences briefly and really hopefully just short about it so and all further ado hopefully this is part two basically knowing my worth i'm the kind of woman hopefully you guys will enjoy this and have been enjoying your day so here goes i'm the kind of woman that keeps my darkest fears and secrets to myself hidden as we know because it, out of the feeling of deep down, being judged, criticized, and more, even though nine times out of ten, I am trying to learn now to try and, despite my darkest fears, secrets, and whatnot, I'm trying to voice out my concerns and be the voice of all females that may feel left in the dark and not knowing what they would need to do, and whatever the case may be, that hopefully that they'll be heard, so to speak. I'm the kind of woman that remains quite an attempt to avoid arguments, conflicts, disagreements, and more. I'm the kind of woman that will stay in the corner of a room that's not being noticed or understood. Hence the word, I've been misunderstood so many times. I'm the kind of woman or type of woman, basically, that doesn't feel pain, no matter what sort of pain so much, yet I still continue to keep going and find the strength to carry on, to smile, no matter what has been thrown at me and no matter what the circumstances were in the time being. I'm the kind of woman that claims everything's okay, yet I don't want to bug or annoy everyone about my problems that I have or even the issues that has arose from this point, so I keep to myself and do this on my own. Yes, as I say, I'm trying to claim back my independence, trying to claim back everything that is rightfully mine because at the end of the day, I know what it's like to lose everything and I'm trying to gain everything back, what was lost, being my self-confidence, self-esteem and everything in the mental, physical realm as well as in the spiritual. Yes, I can be a limit, stubborn, pretty much a civil woman, but I know in my heart what I want in life right now to achieve and accomplish in my life, be it if many people may not support me on these dreams and goals, even though I know that everybody's dreams and goals and visions are different. I know that, you know, on my journey that they'll that many people may be for me or against me. Some will be with me to a point that they'll walk my journey and then in my journey I know there'll be some that we left behind, be some of them might question why they're being left behind. So you know, whatever circumstance that's lying in their circle of life of what's going on, that's their bizzo, so to speak. Even though I'm not trying to judge or criticise, as I said, this is just to hopefully give you the guys a heads up, pretty much. Anyway, I admit that I can be hot or cold because I know how it feels to get hurt and be hurt. No matter what, I know how it feels to get hurt emotionally, physically, emotionally. Many people may have gone through the same roads as me of cycles of abuse, cycles of just you know, domestic violence, cycles of basically lies, you know, guys cheated on them, whatever the case may be, you know. As I said before in my last video piece of part one, I'm not doing this intentionally to make guys get angry with me, regardless of what it may be, you know, is this is not my plan or agenda. As I managed to put up a wall of defense pretty much, or just a wall of all times just to hopefully basically put a stop to whatever's coming at me so that I don't have to have be attacked or whatever the case may be. I'm the kind of woman that basically, you know, as I said, yes, it's just been just now that I keep to myself and I just try to fight it out on my own because I know for a fact that, you know, nine times out of ten, I, I've been trying to um, look at myself and think, you know, is, is there a way that I could speak out and actually just talk it out with people without having the fear of people thinking, you know, that I'm cray cray. But, you know, that's, that's just me, but hey, I am the kind of woman also, despite putting up a wall up, it's not to be difficult, or whatever other reasons to be, is to protect my heart and guard my heart and thoughts that ones that doesn't deserve to be in my circle due to being abused in every kind and form, sort of thing. The form of abuse I'm talking about is abusing my trust, respect, loyalty and everything else that I've been given between you and I, be it if I'm in a relationship or not, you know, sort of thing, that many people should just respect me for who and what I am. I notice that many people may think that, think 
the same about me that I'm not respecting them because of what they're asking. But then again, you know, everything's a learning curve. Okay, yes, I'll admit, I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I do what I can at that given moment of time. Be it if like someone said to me just to shut up. Sometimes someone's noticed that I talk on and on and on. But this is just me, as I said before. I'm trying to learn to control my blabbling mouth right now. Basically to the point, hopefully, that people will understand me more. Despite that, yes, I can get so excited, as I said, and news all in one. All these emotions rolling into one. Basically for the sake of certain topics that I feel close to or sometimes even just sharing my deepest thoughts and feelings right now to you all on this channel. So then, um, I'm the type of woman that would like hear, to hear compliments now and yet he'll see it in a different form of view of a mirror from their opinions. I'm the type of woman who struggles with the idea of being feel, and feeling alone. It just may remain like this for me forever if it's true or not, even though like many people say that you should have friends around you to support you, but then again, I've learnt in this day and age, you know, there are people that will support you, some in the good and bad, or just the bad, you know, or not in the bad, but just in the good, and there are some people in your circle that may be supporting you in sheep's wool clothing, they may, may not be there for the long haul, they'll just be there for a time, and then they'll just laugh at you, backstab you at you, behind closed doors, whatever it may be, you know, um, Another one is, I'm strong, I'll just put this out there hopefully as an ending, I'm, I'm a strong, brave and intelligent young woman that's worth everything to share with a guy and I'm mature enough to realise my worth with that someone to share of all of this that I'm sharing and more on my heart and more for the sake of speaking up for the woman in general that has, hasn't got a voice and wants to be heard. So this is part two, knowing my worth, I'm a woman basically. Part three is coming up next, basically, and this is one of the non my with hopefully the last one, picking up the pieces. This is basically based on um, past and present relationships I've been in, boy or girl, whatever, or just with a friend that I've lost along the way. And hopefully this will give you an enlightenment and encouragement. But it'll know for the day. Thanks for watching this part of it, and hopefully it will give you a heads up and stuff, and hopefully with my voice will be heard to a point that will reach out to others sort of thing. As I said, I want to support, encourage and motivate people as my goal sort of thing, which I'm hoping that I'm doing all right as, but even if, you know, I'm going the wrong merry way about it. You know, like, comment, subscribe on my channel for more support and updates basically for what's going on in my everyday life, regardless if it's on this channel, playlist of the Beauty From Ashes or vice versa, an everyday kind of a typical life of an SB, pretty much. So, on all for the day, I want to thank you all for your support for that has been with me on my journey so far. And even if you guys are near and far, I, you know, I don't can't thank you enough. Regardless, even though my channel is small, I'm hoping in the near future maybe to make it bigger. But I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Hopefully, once it reaches to a certain point, even though, like I said, it's not all about popularity and my aims here is just to help people and motivate people even though everyone's got their different aims and goals for their channel that's fine you know so enough for the day thanks for watching i'll see you soon